good position and when they're in the bad one. And I'm not talking about positional jiu-jitsu. I'm talking about small details that happen when you're rolling. Okay, so for example, this is a little bit off. We'll go back to our sort of, I just want to talk about this a little bit so you guys can understand sort of a bit of more of a principle of using guard. So when I'm using guard, the goal is to grip, okay? To grip, to change angles, to make positions. So my feet are going to be on my, my partner, okay? Whatever position, just on the knees is fine. And I'm holding my grips, look. Feet in, holding my grips, holding my grips, moving around, okay? Beautiful, that's what we want to be doing. All right, even if my, my legs are through, he's starting to pass my guard, if I'm gripping, I'm attacking. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in an offense position. I can attack his neck, I can grip his arms, I can come and sweep, but as soon as I start to push, he knows I'm defending. I'm no longer attacking anymore. So when I'm, when I'm using my guard, or when I'm passing guard, okay, if I get to a position where Daz is in, but if I'm down, from Daz's point of view, and, I'm, and, and, and my partner's gripping me, which is me, gripping him, all right, he knows that he hasn't got me on the back foot yet. It's a little bit of a 50-50, he could pass or I could sleep, or he might submit or I might submit, okay? But if, I, if he starts to put pressure forward and I push, I'm no longer, I'm no longer am I attacking anymore, no longer am I controlling anymore. Now I've got into a defensive position. So if I'm him and I feel a push, I go, I've got this, I've got this guy now. That's as soon as I go in there, guys. So if, if Daz is on his back and I'm passing and he's gripping, I'm like, oh man, this is a bit hard. Break the grip, I come inside, he starts pushing me. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna pass now. I got this guy on the back foot already in his mind. Because the first thing he's doing now is he's saying, get away from me. You're not giving me the space I want. Okay? And now I'm starting to get inside his head. Now if I can keep him pushing, now I know where his hands are, then I can avoid those positions and start to pass. Okay? So we could go really deep into that principle. All right, that's a, a whole other thing. But just think about that when you're rolling. How does your position affect your partner? Okay, and how can you take a benefit from it? So if I've got Daz in my close guard, if I'm playing open guard, it's beautiful, I love open guard. But if I close it, straight away I know he knows he has to open my guard. So he's gonna create some opportunities for me, otherwise we're gonna be here all day, and I'm happy. Okay, we can stay here all day if you like. We just can't get any coffee or lunch. All right, because we can't go anywhere. So, what I like though, let's go back to this, all right? So that's a little psychological thing I do, I like to do a little bit when I'm rolling, is think about where my partner's at. Just quick, okay? So, Close guard, we learnt this sweep here. We're going to adopt some of those principles in this next sweep. I'm going to adopt the principles of blocking the, the, the base on both sides. Okay, so he can't put his hand out or his foot out. So for this sweep, what I like to do is, I like to hold on top of the sleeve, same side. I use the palm of my hand and I just turn it onto his hand. Whenever we're using guard, our idea is to have our hands on top. Even when we're doing judo or standing up, it's always trying to control on top of the, the wrist. If he rotates the outside and grabs mine, he can just start to stretch his hand, uh, uh, stretch towards me, now push this way. He's gonna break my grip and now he's controlled. So all the time I'm looking to circle out. If he grabs the top of mine, I'm circling off and grabbing the top of his. So I'm always trying to gra grab on top of his wrist. Okay, now I'm gonna push his hand in just so he can't put his hand on the ground. And now I just do like a sideways sit up. I sort of go to the side. So you guys know how to do your arm lock? Have you guys done arm lock from close guard? You know where you go here and then you do this movement? Okay, well that's the same movement you just did for your sweep, right? Oh. So we're gonna do the same thing but without lifting our leg. And we're just gonna grab as low on the pants as we can. Okay, just like that. Now we're gonna do very similar to what we did before. We're gonna step our foot to the ground and we're gonna bump our leg, not to the side. He's too big and beefy and strong for that. We're gonna bring him over this side. We're gonna go on our 45 degree angle. So when I bump my leg, I'm gonna to try to touch my toes right over my shoulder over here. So I'm gonna bump this way. You see, he's gonna to wanna to start to fall. But as he falls, his leg's gonna get light. So I'm gonna pull that leg around. I'm gonna turn my elbow in. And now I'm gonna bicep curl his, hand to his, his knee to here, or his foot to my head. I'm gonna put his foot like a telephone. All right, I'm gonna go here, bump. And as he goes here, I'll turn my elbow. I need to turn my elbow in. 
I can't pull his leg like this too hard, but like this, very easy. Look, telephone is here. And now, same thing, my leg's gonna stretch through and I'm gonna use my hip to sweep here. If I sweep, if I sweep here, one, two, and I go like this. Look, I end up in a bad position again. And then I really have to put it on him. So here, use your hips a lot. The, the, the biggest part of sweeping is your hips. The rest of it is just to stop the person from, so they can fall over, so they don't fall over. All right, so if I don't do this bit and I hold here, and I go here, look, and I do the sweep, just put it, okay. So all this other bit is just to stop them from being able to not fall over. So here, here, grab the leg. Now bump, 45, you're loading him up. Elbow turns in, telephone it, okay? And then it's a hip, push with the hip. Look, keep your hips connected here. Back up into mount, weight on top, and we're working on controlling straight away here, chest to chest, okay? So, one, come down, two, step. Use the foot on the ground for power. Boom, all right? Or you can wait. You can wait for him to maybe try to stand up. Ah, he gave me the sweep. You see, wait for an action reaction, and it's even easier, okay? So you can hear, no problem. We're gonna wait when he goes to stand. Okay, we're going to sleep. You see? Again, if he's gonna go into that mode of, he needs to open my guard, right? How's he gonna open my guard? He needs to make a movement. When he makes that movement, I'm gonna capitalize, I'm gonna use it. Okay, so when I'm here, one, step, two, bump, open, keep this leg here, punch the hand, hips, and on top. You guys got it? Let's do it then. Grab your part.